Before I share my five top tips for dealing with criticism, I have a confession to make. I still suffer from something that I call the dwell. So if someone comments on me or my creative practice or my work and they make one little comment, that kind of gets under my skin and occasionally I still think about it and it still bothers me. So I've been working really hard at thinking of ways that I can deal with criticism and move on and still stay creative. So stick with me, I'm artist Sarah Vartsi and I'm gonna share my ways of dealing with criticism. So the first step is if you are criticized, let's say someone puts a comment online or it could be a family or friend, the first thing, if you can do this, is to take a step back. Take a step away from the computer. Don't react straight away. It's possible that you're a bit tired or hungry and then you might just react straight away and become defensive. So take a step away and then consider if the criticism has anything that you could learn from and where the criticism has come from. So I have had a ton of hate mail for my work and I know that I, um, so I know that when someone feels motivated to write positive or negative stuff about my work, I feel like I'm on the right track. So that kind of criticism doesn't necessarily affect me. When it's something personal and a little bit deeper, then I do feel like, okay, have they got something there? Is there something that I need to work on, either personally or with my work? And, um, you know, I try and put it in perspective. So tip one is where's that criticism come from? Is it just someone who's a bit bored on the internet or a bit jealous of how far you've come and they've just put some throwaway comment? Is it something that might have some truth in it? In which case, you know, take a step back, have a think. Is there something you can learn from this criticism? And that is really difficult. I know, I know that's really hard to do. So that's tip one. So tip number two, I'm ashamed to say I've done this and I'm not gonna do it again, is if you get a bad review or a bad comment and you screenshot it and you put it up on your page and you say, how dare this person say this? Isn't it terrible? And I recommend you do not do that. I don't feel it's professional. One of the worst examples that has ever happened was that somebody was very bitter that they were not making very many sales and they highlighted my business and said, how dare you criticize and not buy any of my work when my work is much cheaper than Sarah's work. And I felt that, so it was a big old rant about how nobody would buy from her and she was obviously very bitter. And I actually privately messaged her and I said, I don't think this shows you in the best light because you really, really want to just focus on the positive and not highlight the negative comments. Why would you do that? I've also had people who reviewed my page and gave me like one star because they, they love Trump and they didn't like the political angle. And, um, and yes, I did highlight it and screenshot it. This was a few years ago. I wouldn't deal with it the same way now. I think I might have messaged and said, um, or actually I didn't message, I messaged Facebook to see if anything could be done, but obviously they don't care. And um, in the end, I decided I didn't need ratings on my page, so I did hide them. But uh, I let comments, you know, the positive comments are the ones, you know, highlight the positive comments and try and not be tempted to screenshot the negative ones just to uh, counteract the da your slightly damaged ego. So I would definitely say don't do that. So tip number three is a really tough one, but it can make such a difference to how you feel and the whole situation. So it is that you should say thank you. So someone criticizes you or makes some negative comment and they think they know better, you say thank you. I'll tell you why this is important. Because if you start, let's suppose someone comments on your page and you become defensive, you will set up a dialogue and you will start having this discussion where that person 
um, has their own agenda and maybe they want to take you down and you're just feeding them you know and you don't want to do that so if you just say thank you they might go away thinking oh she believes me or he believes me great um, my criticism worked when secretly you know when you say thank you you're not admitting that they're right you're just saying okay that's what you think I might think something different but I won't say it and just leave it there so you say thank you and this also goes for like personal criticism and stuff like that The next tip, which works really, really well, and it is one of the best strategies for, you know, if you feel hurt and you're stuck with your creativity because someone has commented on your work or your business idea or something like that, is really hone in on the positives. So when I worked at the British Museum and uh, people filled in reviews at the end and ratings out of 10, I would always focus on the one that gave me 8 out of 10 and there might be a class of 10 people and one of them would give me 8 out of 10 and the rest would give me 9 and 10 but it was always the 8 out of 10 even if it was just one person and I would be like oh that's a bit rubbish I didn't do very well because I'm a perfectionist and I always aim for the top and then you know that one little comment would like get under my skin and sometimes it still does so I, I heard this fantastic tip and I really recommend it. So anytime you get a glowing comment, something that really is you know, a boost to how you feel and um, is spot on and you feel like it's the, you know, it, it, they get you and everything like that. So copy and paste that and put it into your notes or put it up on the screen, you know, pick five of the best and put them up there and anytime you feel a little bit sort of slightly damaged like your heart or you you feel criticized so focus back on the positives because i'm sure that then you'll counteract well i'm not sure but i hope they these positive comments will help to counteract that one little negative remark and actually unfortunately it's the negative ones that do kind of sometimes have a bit more of an impact but i like that idea the other thing that worked for me uh, in terms of staying positive is to write yourself a letter. So if you feel criticized by someone, write a letter rationalizing why you think that they might be wrong. Don't need to show that letter to anyone. But if you write to yourself and you say, well, this person said this, I don't agree because of all these things. And then you kind of put it in perspective. So try and focus on those positive elements and put things in perspective. <laughs> The last tip I have, which is the hardest, is to try to move on and not dwell. And as I said at the beginning, I do have this problem where one little comment will keep coming up and especially when I'm in a bit of a low mood or something like that, and I think, is there some truth in it? Are they right? Are they right? It's so important to think about that person's perspective. Who are they? So to stop you from dwelling on it, really try and gain perspective. So just to sum up, number one is if you feel criticized, step away, consider your reaction. Are you getting angry because you feel a bit tired or a bit hungry or something like that? And where's the criticism come from? Is there anything you can learn from it? Step two is never shame the critic. Don't screenshot the negative comments. By all means, show the positive ones. You know, people would always rather buy from a business that seems quite positive and um, mature. I would say screenshotting negative comments doesn't seem very professional to me. Step three is try and say thank you, even if it you don't agree, because that takes the power away from the critic and they can go off and they will not start building it and you won't start a dialogue where you're becoming defensive. I don't agree with you. Well, I'm right. You know, that kind of thing. So that's number three. Number four is try and focus on positive comments. Make a little folder for yourself or, you know, write the best one up on a big sheet of paper and put it above your office desk or whatever it is. And just remind yourself, you know, a lot of people think your work is good or that you have value and what you're doing makes sense. So try and focus on that. I got criticized recently and um, it was really difficult and I wrote myself a letter. 
explaining to myself what I really thought and that worked well it did help I didn't send it to anyone but you know help me gain perspective and the last one is try not to dwell I know that's so easy to say and so difficult to do because even I do it even now and I've had lots of terrible strangely I've had a lot of te terrible hate mail that I can just think well it's just some random stranger out there but then someone will say a cutting comment and then you just keep mulling it over even for months and that's something that I'm also working on so I really hope that these tips help you to move on and take criticism and turn it into something where you can feel positive and it doesn't get to you and it helps you to stay creative and stay positive at the end of the world. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos.